Ah, uh, what do we have here? Looks like we might have a student who wants to learn about Burundi. Is that right? Super right. Great. Just what I'm looking for. Uh, so. so Ma what's your name? My name's Mallory. Great. It so, is... did you check out my website? I checked it out. It was very informative. I have a few questions for you. Mostly that I'm really curious about, um, what, how do you say it? Burundi? Yeah. How, what is their influence? Burundi. What is their influence on the uh, happenings that occurred in Rwanda in the 90s? Whoa, what a great question, Mallory. Thanks, I know. Uh, so, they're right next to each other in Africa. In Africa. <laughs> And they actually have a lot of civil war and stuff, a lot of war going on between those two countries. Okay. For a long time. But as far as I understand, the war's over now. Okay. They finally uh, stopped warring, at least for a little while. But both their countries got pretty much destroyed. Okay. And they're, they're pretty much still pretty destroyed. But at okay. least they're not in war anymore. Okay. Because you ever heard of the, the Tutsis and, and the, the Hutu? Hutus? Yeah. Yeah, those yeah. Are, that's all Burundi, Rwanda. Oh, it's for, okay, so yeah. it's both of them, not just Rwanda? Yeah, they're in both countries. Oh, okay. Hey, Drew. Hi. Hey, Drew. <laughs> uh, so, uh, do, does that answer your question at all? I, yeah, it does. It does. I don't know as much about... Was it, was it, you don't know as much about that? Was I don't know it, as much it, about Rwanda. Okay. But I know that they're... Was it as big of a deal there? as Because Rwanda was, like, a huge deal, but, like, I feel like no one has talked about it happening in Burundi. But was it, like, the same level of it, intensity of the war? As far as I understand, yes, okay. it was. Uh, Interesting. Yeah, Burundi got destroyed by all those wars. So. Okay. What do they eat there? Uh, well, a large portion of their <laughs> a large portion of their society is undernourished. Undernourished. Okay. So they don't really have any meat. I guess. Depends on what you're asking. Do they have what a, do they eat, or well, what would like, what would they like to? Eat? Well, what do they eat? Do they have do they have like do they have like what animals are there that they kill and eat and stuff? Probably like goats. Goats. But they don't. They honestly don't really have much meat there. Okay. So that was one thing get... I read about that they don't. They're undernourished. They don't get any protein in their diet because they pretty much eat just rice oh. and plants. Maybe bread and maybe some plants, but they don't okay. really get any protein at all. Hmm. Great questions, Mallory. Thanks. What a great student. I just want to learn. That's a very good one. I just want to teach. Perfect. What a team. What's their government like? It's been pretty messed up for a long time, but their current president is President Nukurunziza. I think that's how you say it. He's Sounds been trying right. to do a good job, but there's a lot of confusing stuff. He's been like ousted as president before. All the wars were going on. When dictator would be in charge then he'd get killed and get or get ousted and then some other guy would come up. it was like the book of mormon pretty much oh okay but this guy's been in charge for a while now there's some controversy when he got in charge but uh my phone's ringing but who cares you're teaching me That's i'm teaching important. my student uh so he's been in charge and it's been fairly stable for the last 10 years hmm, interesting. In stable not for american terms okay but it's been, how long yeah. do they is it like how long is like a term for a president? Is it like us? How you have what four years or whatever? No, I think they're pushing for that. But okay. this guy's been in for about eight years, I think. Hmm. Interesting. Do they have the same kind of system? Like he gets voted in, or is it just like? Yeah, they do, but there's a lot of corruption, and some people think this guy was put in hmm. that it was wasn't fair. I see. I see. So. Okay. Interesting. Well, uh, Mallory, you know, I just feel like I should teach you about. Uh, the Millennium Development Goals. Okay, I'd like, love to hear Follow about that. Follow me this way. Oh, okay. Field trip. Right over here. I'd love to learn about them. I'm gonna sit here. Have you ever heard of the Millennium Development Goals? No, oh, I don't. I don't mind my sock. Okay. I have never heard of this. What is it? Well. Several years ago, approximately 2003, okay. early 
2000s, the UN, a bunch of leaders of 189 countries in the UN, all got together to figure out a way to help all the developing nations in the world. Okay. And they set up eight goals that they wanted all these countries to be able to, to be able to uh, get to a certain point by 2015. Okay. And so. There's eight of these goals, and we're going to go through each one of them with Burundi. Yay! <sighs> Let's do it. So, as you can observe here on my website that I made... Well done. The first goal, pretty good. Eradicate extreme poverty and hunger. That's How's Burundi good. doing? Good goal. They're doing okay. They're doing better, but they still have a long way to go. They've improved in all categories, except the percentage of the population that's undernourished has actually gone up. Oh. So that's kind of bad. That's rough. But everything else they're doing good in. So, anyway, what we were talking about was the second goal. It's about improving the education of the young children. Good goal. And Burundi's doing real good. You see here by the statistics, they only 51% of the kids were in school in 1993, but now 89.7% of them are in school. They're building a lot of schools. They're doing really well. That's oh fantastic. My God. Yeah, they're doing great. Moving on. Wow, well done. Yeah, so they're doing good on that. Egypt. Uh, I'm going to talk about Egypt. The next one, promote gender equality and empower women. Yay. Sure you like that one, huh? Uh, it's all right. So they're doing pretty good. Uh, as you can see, the number of women in parliament was 6% in 1999, and then it jumped to 30% in 2013. Whoa. That's better than the United States. Wow, I'm going to move there. Yeah, but they still have some other problems. Oh. Women aren't treated that good, but they're in government, mm -hmm. so that's pretty cool. That's neat. <laughs> Reduce child mortality. Okay. So they're doing fairly well, as you can see right there that says that. Fairly good. Uh, they've dropped in all their categories, but they're still really high. So under 5 mortality rate per 1,000 is at 100, which is 104, which is still pretty high. So they're doing good, they're doing better, but they've still got a long way to go. Okay. So they're fairly good on that one. Any questions so far? I like this a lot. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So the next one, improve maternal health. <laughs> How are they doing on this one? I can't remember. Fairly good. So uh, they dropped in all their categories there as well, actually. But just like the last one, they still have a long way to go get to normal levels. Okay. Uh, but they dropped in all categories. They're, they're working hard, the old Burundians. They're trying. The next one, combat HIV, AIDS, malaria, and other diseases. And they're doing pretty dang good. That's good. It's uh, pretty dang good. So the number of people between 15 and 49 that had HIV was 5.2, and it's dropped to 1.3%. That's pretty good. good. So I believe they'll accomplish their goal of it's eradicating really that eventually. Good. You're doing great, Mallory. You're doing great. I'm learning a lot. Thank you. And now they need to ensure environmental sustainability. That's goal number seven. And they're doing okay. Uh, mm -hmm. A large proportion of their population lives in rural areas, and they don't have much water or food or access to medical care up there, so they need a lot of help from uh, outside aid. Like the United States. Yeah. I see. So I don't believe they're going to accomplish that goal. They still got we don't want to help them. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, we want to help them, but they need to. They need to, yeah. PowerPoint's uh, doing weird things right now, but! What the heck? Sorry, my camera keeps running out of storage, and Mallory is overheating. I'm very grateful for her being part of this project, so I'm allowing her to sit in the freezer during the remainder of this video. So, Mallory, yeah. the last goal is on global partnership. Okay. And, uh... Burundi is not doing too well with global partnership uh, because lots, many Burundians, most Burundians do not have access to the internet, which is a oh. primary tool, as we learned in the flat world. It's this theory that because of the internet, it evens out the whole world, so even some random guy, maybe in Burundi, could become a entrepreneur, ah, yes. rather than before, it was just all America or developed nations. But because they don't really have the internet over there, they're really struggling to create global partnerships mm, okay. to get a good economy. So they're not doing very good there. Okay. But word on the street has it that they're going to start developing some internet. Oh, okay. That's okay. good. Uh, one more thing. You stay right there. Okay. Oh.
So my critique of the goals, I think the goals are pretty good overall. Coverage just about everything. Except for it doesn't say anything about men, which is understandable, except for that in all the videos we watched in class, it seemed like, I don't want to be like harsh or anything, but basically it, it seemed like all the men in Africa suck. That's, I know that's... Same here. That's what it made it look like. And maybe it was just the certain countries, like Sierra Leone, there's a problem with the, diamonds. the men there. Like, I'm sure, I know it's not all of them, but... A lot of them must be some kind of way they're brought up. Sorry, I ran out of storage space again. Here we are again, Mallory's being such a champ. Uh, also, I think Burundi needs to improve its health care to the rural people in their country. Smart. People in the city are doing fairly well, but the rural, rural, they really have no water, they don't have anything. They don't even have help when they're bearing their children. Ew. They just do it on their own. Sick. And so a lot of them die. That's sad. Uh, but as a whole, Burundi's doing good. They're doing well. They're improving themselves, Good they're improving hear. their country, and I think eventually they're going to be to the level where they're an acceptable country according to the United Nations. They're going to accomplish their goals. That's great. But they have a long way to go. Well, that's great. Thanks a lot, Mallory. And this is just Here's another that. episode of...